Hey guys! You guys, Zach and Alicia, the Brent Brown Toyota CW30 Street Team. Where are we, Alicia? We are at Corn Bellies in Thanksgiving Point. Having the biggest blast. Did you not just see us <laughs> shoot an apple out of a cannon? It, I was like, it's going to have a little power to yeah, it. Was it a incinerated. Scary. I an jumped apple. the first time yeah. that they shot it, actually, so but we both hit fun. the cows. So yeah. Good job. Okay, we, we can do that. Yeah, so there's so, so much going on here. We're going to be talking to Logan. He's going to be telling us everything that you can expect if you come to Corn Bellies. Tell us a little bit about your event. So Corn Maze is a giant pumpkin festival with over 40 attractions. You have the corn maze, you have the apple blasters, um, we have pig races, and this year we're celebrating superheroes, so there's a giant superhero maze. Talk to us a little bit about that because there was a little blurb in something that I read online. You're honoring superheroes. Absolutely, yeah. So we're kind of, you know, honoring superheroes with capes because it's fun and we all have our superheroes, right? But then we're also honoring superheroes without capes. So people that, you know, we look up to, moms, dads, grandmas. Awesome. So um, when I was looking online, it seemed like there was just so much going on. So tell us a little bit about um, what you can do for all different ages. So if I had little kids, if I had teenagers, if just as an a adult I wanted like to come. Us. Tell us what there is to do for everybody. Absolutely. And we kind of pride ourselves on that, that there's something to do for everyone. For example, if you're like, you know, a little guy, you know, we've added a whole new Kidsville this year where you can go and to like a miniature gas station and, you know, pump your own car kind of thing. Awesome. Where, you know, the adults have apple blasters, the corn maze, our haunted house opens up this weekend, which is called Insanity Point, which is really cool. Oh, yeah. So fun. And then, so this starts today. Is today's the grand opening or when did it open up, Corn Bellies, for the season? Yeah, so, no, we opened up on last Friday. Oh, perfect. So you've been opening. going for a week. Yep. And then when will it close? November 4th. November 4th. People, you have yep. some time. Get down here. Perfect. Per perfect. And tell us a little bit about pricing. What, what does it cost to get in here? Absolutely. So it starts at eleven ninety-five, and then kind of goes up from there depending on weekday or, you know, what you choose to do inside the park. But, yeah. Oh, that was the question we had because we've been roaming around. We got here a little bit early. We're taking a lay of the land. Exactly. There is tons of stuff. So if you just pay one, like, one admission and you can do everything, or do you have to do, like, all a car. How does that work? Yeah, pretty much. So, I mean, most things are included. If you get strapped into something like the zip line, you pay a little bit extra for that. Like the apple blasters, you pay for the apples. But it Pay, people. <laughs> it is so fun. Uh, but most everything is included in your admission. So awesome. There's like tons of games, little miniature games and stuff. All of that's included? Yep. Yep. Okay, perfect. perfect. Well, we're going to go and explore, yeah, Logan. Thank you so much for chatting you. with us. I am not kidding. There's like one, you know, we go around these little places and you think, oh, that's for kids. I'm not going to have any fun. I try. Yeah. I died. They they <laughs> fired one apple and I was like a 10-year-old all over. It was nervous. so much it's, fun. It was kind of scary, actually. There was a lot of power. <laughs> and I don't know what it is, but I like it. So Alicia was bragging earlier, and we're gonna we're gonna get to it a little bit later. Yeah. But the, she's the queen of tetherball. Tetherball champion, third stuff. grade, Calvin Smith Elementary well, School. Well, listen up, Santa Quinn Chieftain right here, <laughs> and third grade as well. I have the I was the reigning champion, but we're gonna have a little competition right here. Yes. So they've got we these. We should little, have Matt wrap around so he's not looking in the light. Yeah, these little pin games. Okay, so we're each gonna. There's two tables here. We're each going to get a table, and we're going to see who has the least amount of pins left because I hear it has something to do with your intelligence. Well, obviously, I'll, I'll win. So, so, well, we'll see about that. So, sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Go ahead. I'll hold. I'll let you go first because we have two tables. We only have one camera, and nope, nope, flaw. Here we go. Nope. What is she doing? This is the game she said that she's been practicing at Cracker Barrel, and it looks like she goes to Cracker Barrel a lot. She loves that Cracker Barrel oh, life. Oh no, oh no. Uh -oh. You, that's uh -oh. got to be your last one. I've made a mistake. I made an error. <laughs> What's going to happen? Oh no. Uh, uh, that was terrible. I'll just let you win that one because honestly, no, that's, yeah. Sorry, Alicia. I thought it was so you know what was so funny is I w we Matt, let's walk over here and you can kind of show this for a second. I was like, what is this, Alicia? What's this little yeah. thing? She's oh, like, he's, it's billiards. Yeah, it's he's cool. bragging. He's like, this is going to be so easy. So Zach, show us how easy it is. Yeah. Just show us. Okay. Give us a little. Give us a quick. I'm, I'm going for that one in the corner. Yep. Obviously, I have a he thinks he's just going to get it. No, nope, not as easy as he thought it would be, is it? Hold on. <laughs> 
Those, those are definitely not the right shoes for billiards. <laughs> Look how dainty his kicks are. They are the cutest kicks I think I've ever seen in my life. Listen, when you have these shoes on, you're, most, uh, you're supposed to I kick not cute a, and daintily. A, I don't even know what this game is called. I'm not good at that. He's not good at this. It's but called billiards. Later, when we play tetherball, we'll apparently he said he was we'll the champion show who's of the real second grade. Santa so. Quinn. Chieftain second. Oh, but you know, there's only like four kids in Santa Quinn, so it cannot oh, be that hard. Santa Quinn <laughs> Chieftains unite! I want her to know how many of us there are. Let's walk down. So, yes. Logan was telling us before we got started that there's a whole bunch of new attractions just this year, and one of which is right here behind. And we'll get you so you can actually see you're not looking yes. directly into the sun. But he said it's perfect in the fact that big kids and little kids can do it. It's only yes. two feet off the ground. Yes, but, look at how fun this ropes yeah. course is. So if you're just tuning in, we are Zach and Alicia, the Brent Brown Toyota CW30 Street Team. We're at Corn Bellies at Thanksgiving Point, which yes. if you've never been, I have, I'm a Utah native and I have never been to the Corn Bellies maze. My nieces and my nephews have come and I'm for sure going to be coming to their birthday parties. Yeah, when they I definitely want to bring my nieces and nephews back here yeah. because... This is so cool, and what they, he was telling us about this is it's high enough off the ground that you kind of get the sensation that you're doing something really fun for little kids, but it's not dangerous. They're not going to fall and really hurt themselves. If they do fall, they'll be okay. Always a win. Exactly. Um, and then they have these really cute little zip lines back behind, behind there. there. Um, I think he said they called them the bee line. The bee because yeah. look, they're like little bumblebees flying through the Aww, sunflower. That's kind of cute. That is so cute. Okay, so there's another game. Well, and well, and I was gonna hit too because I read this in the the packet, the press packet they gave us that they have discounts for schools, scouting people, churching events. So mm -hmm. you're if you're in charge of a group, you should come and check it out because there is legitimately something fun for all ages. Yeah. What other game did you want to try? So I think we should try this. Oh my gosh, Put a ring guys. on a game because earlier, earlier I did it. She, she, she I don't have any proof. These things. I don't have any proof. I'm your but proof. And the problem is is she continuously picks these things where she's good at <laughs> and I'm just, bad. I'm not really. I, you saw me in that potato sack race. <laughs> yeah. I was not good at that. If you, you haven't seen that, that. you got to go back yeah, to our she, Facebook and watch Or On the 4th of July, Alicia totally got massacred by a 10-year-old at a <laughs> potato all right, sack so race. Let's go, let's go try out this game. So you think by looking at it, I was like, oh, it's easy. Hard. It's no big deal. Everyone should be able to do this. You just have to, you have to throw this little it's hard, ring people. onto the, so here you go. Hold this for me. Okay, I'm going to. show you how it's done. Super easy. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia, if you don't get it on there, she got it on her third try last time, and I was sitting there for 13 minutes. <laughs> Never got it. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh. Close. Woo! Boom, boom, boom. Easy. Boom, Super boom, pow. So if you, look, we're just teaching you life lessons. If you can't do it, then cheat. just cheat. You just and cheat, get it. Just and then kidding. people will be impressed by you. <laughs> yes. No, but what's really cool is like this is just the tiniest portion bit of what is actually happening here. There's this huge Cute maze little girl over, over there. here. This that's like the terror area. Oh yeah. So there's a there's a haunted portion of this. Mm -hmm. Which is for like older kids. Teenagers, Castle of Chaos, adults. or I see something over there, and you yeah. can see like that big old. Let's walk oh, over there. Yeah, and Castle, kind of show. There's a monster, a giant monster you can walk through. Um, and when I was reading online, it said that this is definitely not for the little kids. It's called Insanity Point. It's going to be pretty scary. It might be hard to believe, but I'm kind of a chicken, so, <laughs> so it may I, not be maybe for us not either. be for adults because I'm not necessarily. I mean, I I'm lying. I do love a haunted house, but. I'm not necessarily down to get jumped out at. It's yeah. not like that's not my favorite. Well, thing. and then there's also um, food trucks and lots of delicious food. I saw a sign for pumpkin spice donuts oh, earlier. That sounds which fantastic. I'm definitely going to have to get one of those later because everything pumpkin spice is happening when right I now. When I see funnel cake right there. Funnel, there's a bull you can ride. I mean, there's just so much happening. This is just like the tip of the iceberg here. Yeah. Of of what's going on. Well, and I was, I've been a big proponent of like, oh, I'm dreading winter, but when you have like things to ease into fall like this, yeah. it's not gonna be too bad. I think we're gonna be okay. And this if you do so choose to stay home, I mean, we can't say it enough. Coming very soon, the yeah. CW is premiering a ton of new awesome shows, or two new awesome shows, Valor and Dynasty, which yeah. are gonna be fantastic. So if Can you- Can we just take a minute to talk about our car? 
Oh. We have had so much fun yeah. driving around in our RAV4. Every time people see us. Yeah, we're starting. Now it's fun because people start to recognize yeah. the street team mobile. We're excited to see the Brett Brown mobile. We had out at that racetrack and made a really fun promo to just introduce our little RAV4 to the world. And yeah. we had Alicia. Did you guys see how crazy of a driver she was That's going why like Zach 45 <laughs> on the <laughs> racetrack? <laughs> And I was, I'm sweating thinking about it because, listen. Well, it was, a, I mean, I was no, coming up pretty fast on very those turns. Fast. So. It's just not good. But it's been a great little car yeah. that we've been driving around. I make Zach it. drive most of the time. Yeah, because I'm much more responsible. <laughs> yeah, probably. That's probably true. I hate to admit it. but. Well, we we're going to have to leave you guys because we have some business to tend to mm -hmm. at the Tetherball Post. But if you yeah. haven't been or you're considering, I would absolutely say get down here and do the Apple, oh, what was it called? Astro Blasters. Apple Ap Blasters. Yeah, that's what I mean. Astro Blast. Yeah. Apple, Apple, Apple Blasters. blasters. <laughs> it's a yeah, tongue twister. and then so follow us on Instagram if you want to find out who wins in this tetherball. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Utah CW30 Street Team, and we're doing some pretty cute stuff on there. So. And you can follow, make sure you're following us all the time on Facebook because mm -hmm. that's where you're going to see where we're at next. And Utah we have CW30. The most amazing things coming up in yes, October. Yes, we do. We're so excited. We should hurry and jump on the tractor. Just kidding. It's not safe. It's not <laughs> safe. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, see you later. Bye, guys.